wanted to ask you a few questions that would prompt the topic for day 57. I will still ask the questions, but I'll add a twist. I will also answer the questions in hopes to let someone know that they are not alone. Have you ever felt that you were so burdened by your sin? And does it ever feel like you can't even go to God? Want to hear my answers? Yes, I have felt that way. Have you ever wished that you could go back and change your past mistakes and failures? Yes, all the time. I wish that I could go back in time and make the right decisions. Well, as you ponder upon the things that you are burdened by, don't feel overwhelmed. Just join me for the next few minutes as we reflect on God's words and leverage the power of prayer. Friends, God knows our hearts. He knows the things that are constantly bothering and consuming us. Even that sin that nobody knows about. We just need to open our eyes to God's loving kindness. Then we will realize that we are favored with God's love. We will start to see more of our weaknesses and shortcomings. We start to see God's unconditional love and our hearts are humbled. We are led to cry out to Jesus as we repent the sins that we have been resting on our hearts. We cry out for mercy and salvation when we feel overwhelmed with his holiness. Isaiah 6 verse 5 says, Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips, for my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. So when you are exposed to the love of Jesus and have realized how much you have sinned, don't bother to feel burdened by it. Cry out to Jesus in repentance. He is willing to hear you out. You might have strayed. You might have left the church, but when you feel impressed to cry out to Jesus, do it. Cry, speak to him, and always remember that God is way bigger than our mistakes. Yes, we need to know our heart's condition, the sins that we have committed. But more importantly, we need to know about that five-letter word called grace. As we do a self-evaluation on our sinfulness and mistakes, we can know that God wants us closer to Him. The Holy Spirit is preparing us to receive that lettering power. But before He fills us, He got to empty us, shake us, awaken us. Now we're going to pray for a few things. Let's pray that we are able to accept God's grace as we are being emptied and filled. Let's pray for areas where COVID-19 seems to be flaring up again, such as Wuhan, China and other cities and regions in China. Let's pray for Adventist teachers in government-run schools across the world, specifically in Thailand. Let's pray for the small groups, outdoor churches, and evangelistic meetings that have developed across Papua New Guinea due to the closure of churches. Let us pray. Your loving kindness, Father Jesus, is so amazing. We just want to thank you for your grace and your wonderfulness. Lord, there are many of us who are watching right now who currently don't feel your love but we ask Lord that you will show us your love you will show us your mercy and Lord that help us to understand that even though we may sin that five letter word called grace is there to cover us you have sent your son to die on the cross Lord for our sins and we're grateful for that but there are people who still don't feel that they can come to you and ask for forgiveness Lord, we ask that you will forgive us of our sins and help us to live better and renewed lives. In your name we do pray. Amen.
thanks for tuning in you know what to do like share and subscribe follow us on all our social media pages at sure to the sda church see you later stay safe